welcome back to my channel. So first off, let's address the elephant in the room, which is my voice. So last night I went to a show, I was for Jaws, and obviously you can tell it was an amazing night just by the sound of my voice. I took my friends, my best friends, to the first EDM show. It was incredible. I Just talking about it, I get so overwhelmed with happiness. I love everyone that attends EDM shows. Like It's just positivity and love every fucking single corner that you turn. Anyway, so yeah, I did that last night. Um, so okay, guys, so I decided to insert a small clip from my night at the show just so y'all can hear how much I was screaming the entire night. Um, so I guess because of how hot it was and everything, I don't know if this is a thing, but the security guards from the venue were throwing water at us, which is greatly appreciated. So if you come across the video, this video, thanks. And if not, so thank you so much. And then I proceeded by dropping my phone and I could hear myself in the background saying, oh shit, my phone in like a really deep voice, picking it up and then recording my friends. So yeah, guys. I hope you enjoy the clip. to do a favorites of the month obviously for february so today is march 1st i don't know when i'll be uploading this just because it does take a while for me to edit it and to actually grow the confidence to upload these videos most of these products are just beauty i am such a hoarder of beauty products i beauty product junkie is that the term so the first thing that i'm gonna start off with by the way if you see me reaching this because i should have like just laid everything out right here you know what i'm gonna do that i'll brb i have a few items that i want to share with you guys and i hope that they work out for you and if they do please comment down below and let me know if you guys like these type of videos i love sharing products i enjoy even though sometimes they don't work for everyone i understand everyone has different tastes different skin types whatever the factor may be but this is what works for me so just a disclaimer i do have combo mostly on the dry side acne prone sensitive skin so i basically have the best of all the fucking worlds in skincare um as you can see probably right now the lights hitting me my t-zone does get oily but then all right here especially around my mouth for some odd reason i get extremely dry and i'll definitely make a skincare video in a separate video because i just understand like how difficult it is to deal with acne i think that definitely took the biggest toll on my self-esteem and to this day i feel like even when i get one because i don't break out as often anymore i would but um when i do like it just totally blows me and i really hope some of these products that i share um they work out for you not all of them are skincare but they definitely work out for my skin so the first product this isn't the first time i've used this it's actually a repurchase but obviously i've never had the chance to speak to you guys about the product so this is the ordinary 100 percent organic cold press rose hip seed oil so when purchasing rose hip oil make sure that it's 100 percent organic and that it's cold pressed that is the best for your skin so you don't necessarily need to buy this brand but this is the one they recommend and it is very cheap and it's very accessible if you have an ulta near you the reason i love this is because one it hydrates my skin so much it doesn't clog my pores it reduces so much of my redness and if i have a breakout that shit literally swells down within the next night like i apply this morning and night but when i apply this at night and i wake up the next morning my skin is glowing and my breakouts are done completely also if you have oily skin do not be afraid to put oils on your skin your skin needs moisturization no matter what skin type yes don't overdo it i will say that but sometimes your skin may just be oily because it wants you to feed it moisture this was under ten dollars it was maybe like nine bucks and you can either order this online but um ulta does carry the ordinary now so 
you guys should definitely check this product out also i did try one from walmart it was the brand i believe sky organics and i really loved it it was a little bit more pricey though it was 11 bucks which i was kind of surprised but this is nine bucks and this is my holy grail i applied three drops in the morning and at night i apply from four to five drops and it has done me wonders next product so one thing and i feel like a lot of people especially my age neglect no matter if you're a male a female whatever you identify with you need to wear sunscreen especially now that our ozone layer has been deteriorating you need to wear your fucking spf ladies and gentlemen do you wanna eat like a freaking reason no no one wants that so here is the sunscreen that I recommend to you guys. So this is the Paula's Choice Hydro Light Shine Free Daily Mineral Complex broad, broad Spectrum SPF 30. This is targeted for normal oily and combination skin. This is my freaking crack. I love it. First off, it does not dry out my skin, which I have always had an issue with sunscreens where they just cling to my dry patches and it looks freaking disgusting. However, the con of this is that it does wear a white cast. So if you are darker complexed than me, and just imagine, I'm kind of light skin and this leaves a white cast. And by white cast, I mean that when you apply it to your face, it kind of leaves like this white shadow on there it kind of looks like you didn't rub in the product but if i rub it good enough and it kind of settles in it doesn't look as white this is amazing by the way when you're looking for a um sunscreen i do recommend that you buy nothing that's more than 50 and nothing that's less than 30 that is the perfect range and what is needed for you to be protected by these uv rays also don't apply this much this isn't enough to cover your whole face and to protect it. You need to apply a good amount. I always watch these YouTube videos and girls literally apply like a pea sized amount of fucking sunscreen. No bitch, that isn't going to do shit. So yeah, really recommend this one. This was really affordable compared to the one that I was using before this one, which was the pharmacy green something um, mineral sunscreen, which was really good as well. But honestly, I think Paula's Choice takes a W on this one. And it's fragrance free, which is phenomenal. Don't use fragrances on your skin. That is a no go. So yeah, I really recommend this one. Sorry, I had to take a sip. You're looking for a great tinted moisturizer or you just are not a fan of foundation, you need to get yourself this fucking product. I don't think I have ever loved a product this much and I swear, if ColourPop discontinues this, I will literally stand outside their offices, wherever their main offices are, and protest. Because this is the most amazing product I have ever come across. So are you guys ready? One, two. This is her. First off, the packaging, beautiful and it has a fucking pump. So this is the ColourPop Pretty Face Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. And this is phenomenal. So um, I don't know if this is my shade or not. But I ended up buying Light 5N. I was going to go with the, the one that was up next. Which I believe is 6W. I don't know. But I think this one kind of matches me better. Or so I think. Maybe in the summer I could go with one shade. Which will be that one. But for right now I think this is pretty good. It's not heavy duty whatsoever. So if you're looking for something like completely completely blur everything out this isn't the product for you however this is buildable which is amazing um right now i just have on one pump and it was because i just went out for some errands literally took it in my hand and just rubbed it in i usually do um blend it in with this brush that i will be talking about and then after the brush i go in with my beauty blender just to further blend everything in but for this for today i did go in with my hands and it looks really good and honestly it gives you such a beautiful glow i am kind of getting oily but like just like this is not highlighter honey this is the tinted moisturizer in my natural oils also i do have dry skin and it does not cling on to my patches and i do believe it has to do with hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid if you have dry skin definitely look into that it's really great for your skin now the next product this is the pretty face hyaluronic creamy concealer and i bought this in the shade light 45w this is the best concealer i've ever used perfect coverage and these two together just literally better than sex period 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 ladies if you go to ulta or online order it because you will thank me later 
the next product was sent to me for my birthday um well it wasn't sent to me but I had ordered something from Sephora and apparently I never got my birthday um, gift that Sephora gives to you when it's your birthday, obviously. They ended up sending me some products from Milk. Um, they sent me a mascara, which I did not like whatsoever. It was the Kush one. Literally within like 30 minutes of wearing it, it was all black right here. So not good they gave me a primer didn't even bother just because i'm really sensitive when it comes to my skin what i did end up loving is this milk makeup uh lip plus cheek something i don't know what it is so this is the mini size of it so sorry if they can't even tell what it is so basically this is just a blush and a lip tint in one and it is first off it is so adorable i don't know what the full size looks like but this is a mini one and this is in the shade work and i just honestly i don't have time in the morning to be taking my time getting ready because i still work really early and i wake up 15 minutes before having to leave to be age but this is awesome i literally oh i almost dropped it i literally just jab it on my cheeks and then with my beauty blender i just blend it in and it is awesome and the shade is so beautiful i'm definitely going to buy the full size the next product is a morphe brush i've actually had this for a while but i never like i said i've never been able to share with other people this is the morphe m439 brush i don't even know what shape this is it's really disgusting i'm so sorry um i need to wash it, it blends out my foundation perfectly and yeah y'all need to get yourself this if you don't use a brush i highly recommend this one to be your first Next are these lashes that I'm wearing right now. If you couldn't tell, yes, honey, I'm wearing lashes. And I love the fact how freaking natural they look. These are the Kiss Lash Couture Naked Drama Collection Lashes in the Style Veil. This is what the box looks like, and I'm wearing them right now. Um, they're probably not even on right, but this is what they look like. They're so pretty and natural, guys. Like, they don't even look... Like falsies. I don't know how much they retail for. I think they were like six bucks. If you want really natural everyday lashes, I highly recommend these. And I'm definitely going to try other styles from this um, collection. The next is for my oily bitches that sometimes just need a little touch up. These are the Up and Up, which is the Target brand oil absorbing sheets. These are a dupe for the Clean and Clear oil absorbing sheets. They're awesome. Um, they're really cheap. They're like three bucks, I believe. And yeah, you just basically grab it. I'm about to expose myself. And you just dab and it does not move your makeup whatsoever. I know I'm, you see? Oh my God, that's so disgusting. I'm so sorry, America, that you have to see this. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, look, this is how freaking oily I am right now. <coughs> that is freaking gross. Also, if you don't wanna, drop money on these you can always go to your local starbucks grab their napkins and thank me later life hack right there ladies wait i'm thirsty the first product is kind of weird and i am gonna have to expose myself a little but honestly i don't care i don't even know if i'm pronouncing this brand right um if you know how to pronounce it don't come for me just let me know message me separately and then so this is the Anise That Booty The Wanna Show Booty Scrub. Now, you may ask yourself, Lisette, what the fuck does one need a booty scrub for? Let me tell you, this makes my bum so smooth, it is ridiculous. Yeah, you can just buy any ordinary exfoliating body scrub, but honestly, this is amazing and it is targeted for booty maybe they're financing my money who knows and i don't care because this product is amazing so to get into detail as to why i bought it i didn't just buy it just because i wanted a smoother butt but i don't know if it's kp if you don't know what that is i would definitely recommend um googling what it is just in case if you think you may be suffering from it i don't know the full name well, i do actually but i just don't want to pronounce it because if i mispronounce it I just made a fool of myself. Its acronym is KP. Um, so it's basically just like 
open up their flare-ups or it's like little pimples that a lot of people sometimes get on their arms on their bum um, under their bum like on their thigh I do have a lot of them um, I don't know if it's just um, acne or if it's KP I really have never gone to my dermatologist to see what it is but this has been doing me awesome so i'm just gonna keep using this so yeah i had a lot of bumps on my like on my bum and also like underneath and it did make me really insecure i won't lie not because anyone see my bum or anything like that but it's just like myself like i would see and i'm like oh my gosh why is it like that and this has definitely made a drastic change in that like i still have a lot on my thigh areas and it's because i really don't use it on there i sometimes i neglect my thighs i mostly just rub it on my butt <laughs> Sorry guys, it sounds so weird to talk about. Please, dad, mom, don't watch this. Her family members don't watch this. Um, yeah, so if you think you may have um KP or you just get pimples on your booty, or you just want a smooth bum, especially since summer's right around the corner, highly recommend this. It was a little expensive, but I use it almost every single time that I shower and that I um just wash my body. And this is about how much I have left, which is not a lot, but then again. It's lasted me about a good month and a half now. The next product, um, I feel like this is so weird to talk about because it's like, bitch, I don't care. But if you guys are looking for a new body wash, I would highly recommend the Aveeno Skin Relief Body Wash. This is the fragrance-free one. I try to stay away from fragrance as much as possible unless it's perfume or I'm using, um, so for example, like, Lately, I've been using a lot of those Bath & Body Works creams or fragrance, but I only use them on my hands. Like, I don't even let them touch anywhere besides my hands because I don't know if it's just in my head, but I feel like it irritates my skin and I just hate having fragrance all over me. So, having a body wash that's fragrance, first off, it's really bad for your hoo-ha. I mean, first off, you shouldn't even be inserting the soap in there if you didn't know that well now you know you should just be washing around it not in and yeah i just feel like it really irritates me and i can't stand having those heavy fragrances on all day but this is amazing um even if you're just looking for a new shaving cream even though really they're a waste of money this is really good so basically this is like a two-in-one for me i do shave with this and i also wash my body with this it lathers perfectly doesn't have fragrance it makes my skin so smooth and it's really great the final product that I will be talking about is actually something new and I haven't used it more than twice but I feel like I need to incorporate it into this video just because I've only used it twice and I love it so much um so I didn't necessarily buy this for any specific reason I was just looking for a new shampoo and conditioner because I was running out of my old one I was using the it's a 10 keratin shampoo I believe that's what it's called it did dry out my scalp and I've had that issue a lot with a lot of shampoos I don't know if it's because I have a dry scalp or what it is but these this combination I'm about to show you guys you will thank me later um my hair is kind of medium thin it used to be way thicker but it's because my old hairstyle is um thinned out my hair without telling me but yeah and i guess it just never wanted to grow back so yeah um it's not the thickest but it's not the thinnest either uh i could go about two days three days without washing my hair but the second day and third day i do need to apply dry shampoo sometimes i could get away with only applying dry shampoo the third day but i usually don't try to do more than two days without washing my hair so this is the grande hair peptide shampoo and conditioner so i don't know how i came across this brand oh yes i do so i follow this lady that does eyelash extensions and she was promoting the shampoo and this conditioner to her clients because apparently this this brand also makes a eyelash serum and so she was promoting that but then she also promotes their shampoos i guess she sells them she's like a vendor for them is that the correct term yes yeah, she's a seller for them and she said she has showed the results of this girl that was using it so basically um i have this weird thing and no one ever believes me until i show them they're like oh my gosh where i don't know if you could tell here but like this area right here yeah like this it may look like i'm just balding but actually my hairs go from blonde to dark which i know makes no sense but it's super weird i don't know like why couldn't i just have bad blonde hair at that point you know but um 
yeah so this girl i get i don't know if she had the same issue or she was actually bombing with like her hair like completely grew in from only using it for like a month and i do kind of want my hair to grow a little bit more because i haven't had long hair since seventh grade i think the longest i've had it was right here i literally if you know me i always have short hair which i think it does complement my face more <laughs> but i just want to see how i look with long hair so I'm not saying this is a miracle product. Um, don't know if it's gonna even make a difference in my hair, but I've used it twice and my hair feels so clean. It smells amazing. I don't even know what it smells like. I tried describing it to my mom, but I don't know, it just smells so clean. It kind of smells like a fruit, but I don't know what fruit. And it definitely made my hair feel thicker. I don't know what it is, if it's just me. They were a little bit on the pricey side, but if you're looking for a new conditioner and shampoo, I would definitely recommend these. They are a little small, but then again, you're not supposed to use a lot of shampoo. I think that's a misconception where people get like pour the whole fucking bottle into their pump no guys you only need a little bit twice and that's it that's everything guys i hope this was helpful i'm sorry if i didn't go more in depth into the products because this is already gonna be 30 fucking minutes and i literally rent so much so if you guys try out any of these products and they work out for you, or if you have any other questions on these products, please feel free to comment down below. Or if you have me on social media, message me separately, whatever you feel more comfortable doing. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoy, and I hope March is a great month for you. Daylight savings, I believe that's what it's called. It's just around the corner. I believe it's this Sunday, and I am so thankful because I need sunshine. I need that vitamin D. I miss having the sun just like beating down on my skin. Maybe it feels so awesome and I definitely think it does affect your mood. But I really do hope that these videos are beneficial for you guys and if you're not, that's okay. But I just want to share some of my knowledge and some of my favorites with you guys. So hopefully you guys enjoy this and stay tuned for the next video. Thank you.